Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the official He-Man and the Masters of the Universe YouTube channel. My name is James Etock and today I thought it was about time that I showcased the gorgeous artwork of filmation artist Bob Klein. During production of the He-Man series Bob Klein worked as a freelance artist which meant that his contribution to the world of He-Man was very brief. Now personally I think this was a shame as not only were his storyboards incredibly detailed but his layout artwork was absolutely beautiful and it would seem inspiring to others at the studio from what I've heard. For the longest time I had wondered why of all the episodes of the series, Colossal Awakes was the one episode that used very little stock. We'll find the answer to this, my friend. I'm not your friend. Little Pineapple Express reference. As you know, Filmation's character stock animation system enabled them to keep their costs down. However, you'll notice in these clips from Colossal Awakes that not only are there a lot of unique angles, but much of the character animation is new. And this was the case throughout the episode. You can survive a fall from this height, he man! I won't have to, Skeletor. It wasn't until years later that I discovered that Bob Klein was the layout artist on this episode. Now, typically, layout artwork would tend to look like this, or this. And that is no detriment to the artists that illustrated these pieces. There was very little requirement for layout artwork to be heavily rendered. However, Bob Klein's layout artwork looked like this. Wonderfully rendered, supremely detailed, with minimal reliance on stock. And you'll notice with these Skeletor and Beastman illustrations, Skeletor originally pushes Beastman away from him, leading to the following shot. However, in the episode, he nudges Beastman away, and yet in the following shot is still clearly pushing him away. From what I've been able to tell, the director of this episode, Lou Kachavus, was happy with the new animation that Klein was calling for in his layouts. And rather than simplify the layouts with references to existing stock footage, Kachavus had a wealth of new sequences animated for the episode. Thus the episode could visually be considered Bob Klein's, as his style of illustration is evident throughout. I'm constantly on the hunt for Bob Klein layout artwork from this episode, so if you have any please feel free to share it. I hope you enjoyed this latest video from the channel. As always, please feel free to leave comments below, like and share this video, and if you have yet to do so, subscribe! Hey, alright, yes! Yay, alright, yes!